Hi everyone, my name is Kelly from Careful, and I am a skincare enthusiast and beauty blogger here on Instagram. So just a really quick introduction about myself. I am from Toronto, so I am Canadian. I've been into skincare for as long as I can remember, and I'm really excited to be here today because I get to share my first impressions on the newest launch from Claire's. And the first impression series from Wish Beauty Lab is basically where we take you through some of the newest product launches on wishtrend.com. I'm also such a huge fan of Wish Trend, and it's my first time on here, so thank you for having me and I hope you guys have fun. All right, so let's get down to business because we're actually really excited to talk about the newest addition to the Claire's Fundamental line. And we have the Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. Let me just give you some context. I admittedly am very new to the brand. I've tried one product. I've heard so many strong reviews about the brand, their products, the formulations, and just the team. So they created this product based off of a demand and a need that we were looking for something that that could work all year round for every single skin type. And I'm talking about 365 days of the year. That sounds pretty amazing, doesn't it? What's even better about this formulation is that they are cruelty-free, vegan, free from artificial colorants and fragrance, and paraben-free. So it has some strong claims and it's got an incredible formulation to boot. So this is supposed to be different than your average gel moisturizer, in a sense that it's supposed to be lightweight, but it's supposed to leave a velvety finish. So this has the system called Hydra Emulsification System. <laughs> So this system is supposed to work in a way that it penetrates deep into the skin, deep, deep, deep into the skin and treat it from below. So you're not gonna have that issue where it feels like it's just sitting on the top of the skin and not doing very much of anything. On top of that, it's supposed to sit somewhere in between gel and cream. It contains panthenol, so panthenol is really gonna be there to help promote skin regeneration. This ingredient is very rich in vitamin B5, so it's gonna help moisturize, hydrate, and really promote that healthy skin. The other thing is it contains 63.7% green tea leaf extract, and green tea is a really great antioxidant. It helps, again, to hydrate, soothe, brighten complexion, and I love to have green tea in my beverages. I certainly love to have it in my skincare. The last thing that this contains is Centella Asiatica, and you might know it as Sika. Such a stellar ingredient because it helps to hydrate, soothe, help with irritated, sensitive skin, and help repair the skin barrier. So again, these are some really great things to have in a moisturizer. And you know what? I am super happy to find Sika in any of my skincare, so I'm a happy camper. All right, so I have washed my face and I've applied toner, and I feel like I'm shriveling up into a raisin because I haven't put on my moisturizer yet. So let's crack on. Got a little cover here. This has a very unique gel texture. If I just even move it around the jar, you're gonna see that it's moving from side to side. And I'll show you a close up in just a second. Just need to do a smell test. And there's no scent. <laughs> so there's no fragrance, there's no weird perfumey type of smell that you would typically find in Asian skincare. So that is an absolute plus for me. And it kind of resembles soy milk. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so let's do a close up. You can see it's very, very watery and very lightweight. So I am very curious to see how this applies on the skin. So I'm gonna try and apply this onto the back of my hand. So I've dipped the spatula in just a little bit and I'm just gonna show you what this texture looks like. Okay, so we can see it looks like that. I'm gonna put a little scoop onto the back of my hand and get ready to apply this to the face. So I'm just gonna apply it to the side of my face. Ooh, so again, incredibly soothing. So once it's applied to the skin, it has this beautiful gel texture, but it very quickly evolves into this kind of rich velvety finish which is has been described on the product and the skincare tip that i've learned is you always want to be incredibly gentle with your skin so don't tug if you don't have enough product get more <laughs> you never want to tug on the skin mm -hmm. 
So you can see the skin looks radiant, it looks nourished, and it feels bouncy, not tacky. The difference between that is bouncy feels, it feels plump, plump and supple and gives you this beautiful radiant glow. Very different from other gel creams that I've tried that just feel very watery. This one does have a very beautiful velvet finish. There is no pilling. So sometimes you know that when you apply cream on top of your other skincare, of your other serum, sometimes there can be pilling. I didn't experience any pilling with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some SPF, maybe just a little bit of makeup because I do wanna see how this wears underneath. So I'm back. I applied some SPF, tinted moisturizer, and a little bit of blush. I deliberately chose not to use any sort of makeup base, makeup primer, because I don't want to affect the skin's texture and the glow. I, I truly wanted to show you how it wears under makeup and SPF. So I don't have any highlighter. And if you guys can check out this glow, like this is with no highlighter and makeup base and no foundation just tinted moisturizer and SPF. And you can see this glow. So overall, my closing thoughts on this product, although it's so watery and you guys have seen it as well, it does have this velvety finish that leaves this beautiful glow that we're seeing here right now. So in a nutshell, I think this is gonna be fantastic for the warmer months, especially as it's starting to get really hot in Toronto. You don't wanna have anything that's gonna be sticky, anything that's gonna be heavy, and that's none of this cream. It's lightweight and it's still nourishing, so I do see that this is gonna work really well in the summer. For the winter, I do see that because this is so nourishing and it does quickly transform from a gel to a very rich finish, this could potentially hold up in the frigid winters of Toronto. I do see this working really well for dry skin types. Typically when you're trying a gel cream and you have a dry skin type, I know it's very common to say, you know, gel creams are usually for people that are oily or combination skin. Typically not so much for the dry, but you can see how nourishing this is. It does have a very rich and velvety finish. So I do see that this could work for, for people that have dry skin. And of course, oily combination skin, like myself. If you're into that dewy glow, then this is gonna be right up your alley. If you guys are curious, this is available on wishtrend.com. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comment box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for having me, hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun and I hope to see you soon. Bye.